I have been asked to share this information on uh, kind of what a small YouTube channel can make. So I have gone into my YouTube studio and I'm going to share this with you all. Um, I can't tell you about other small channels. This is just this small channel. Um, and if it's worth you getting started on YouTube. Um, what I will tell you, this is the uh, analytics for January 1st, 2020 through December 31st, 2020. And I'll also share with you what uh, the channel has earned so far in 2021. Uh, as far as reach, I'm not even sure what all this means. I'm not that savvy with all of this. The impressions got 5.9 million. The clickback through rate was 6.5, which was up this year. And there were 630,000.7 views. Um, the engagement tab, um, I guess my watch time was down year over year, but I noticed that I didn't make as many videos. And the average watch of my videos was six minutes and seven, uh, seven uh, seconds. And I have videos that range from two minutes or one minute and something to 20 some odd, 30 minutes. So I guess it uh, averages out those videos. And on the audience tab, it kind of tells you, you know, um, if you go down, if I can go down here. Oh, let me just tab on this. It kind of tells you, you know, you know, what when your viewers are on YouTube and things like that. And I think you could probably be, you know, and then it kind of gives you other stuff that other videos that, you know, people that watch you may also watch. So it's very interesting. It tells you the top, what, who subscribed and non not subscribed. And, you know, the top people that, um, Watch me are from the United States, Canada, the United Kingdom, Germany, and South Africa. And as you can see, that's a very small percentage because most of the people are in the 93 percentage are from U the U.S. And mostly females watch my channel, um, but there are some males that watch it as well. And it gives you the age group. And primarily, although I have all ages watching me, mainly falls between 25 and 64. So... And most of the people, you know, use no subtitles. So it tells you that and all of that. And I know getting to what you came here for, let me go back up and let's go to the revenue tab. In 2020, um, 20, although I made less fewer videos, uh, I earned $4,326.83. And of course, that's up 1%. I'm not sure what this is. I think this is like the rate per minute. And um, that's $6.86. Um, and then on the um, playback base, I think this per thousand views is $12.90. So if you go back to the overview, you can see all of this on the overview tab. Had 630,000 views for the year. Watch time. You know, in hours was 64,000 hours. And I gained 1.4K subscribers this year. And you can see my channel is only at 6,513 subscribers. And the um, total estimated revenue was $4,326.83. So as you can see, you can make money as a small YouTuber. And I do get sponsorship offers, but if I don't use the products, I don't do the sponsorship. So you don't see any sponsorships on my channel. This is all in ad revenue. And it's basically probably ultimately just a little bit over what break even because I do giveaways. I give um, on my channel as well as give out, you know, to people in need. And then I use money to kind of support the channel and do the things I need to do for the channel as well. So, um, you yeah, know, it's probably pretty much like a break even point because you still have to pay taxes on this as well. So for this year so far in 2021, and we're on day um, January the 16th, day 16th. So far this month, my estimated revenue is at $154.18. And I say what well, on average, I tend to make more money um, later in the year. Seems like the higher earning months are 
in the later part of the year. So I will go to like November of last year and I made $457 in November. And I also do, I think December was the highest earnings, earn, earning month, month I've ever had on YouTube. And I think that's because advertisers pay more during that time was five seventy one fifty eight, and let me go down. I thought you could see it, where you could go to other months, but I don't. I, you can see it, but I just don't know how to get to it at this time. Oh yes, here it is. To see more, I'm trying to give you a thorough thing on here so you'll know if there's something you want to kind of get involved in. Let me tab down here. And it tells you what videos made what, you know, different videos and things of that nature. So, yeah, like I said, if you all want to kind of get involved with YouTube, I think it's a great, a great um, thing to do. I enjoy it. I got into it not so much for the earnings, but because I really enjoy it and you can see where you can make money. You can just base this off of my channel which i'm not sure is accurate and as you can see on social blade if you want to go to socialblade.com let me see if i can pull that up socialblade.com a lot of people don't want to share this that's my channel that's up there now and it'll show you the estimated yearly average is 2.7 and monthly, they estimate at two twenty three. And as you can see, my channel made over that. So I always say I think that <clears throat> Social Blade is pretty accurate as far as you know between the range. A lot of times it's at the range or over. So you know, I know a lot of people don't like to share, but it kind of shows you how many views your channel has every day. So it's a good little tool. Like I said, if you want to, and like I said, it's decent extra money, and it allows me to do some things I wouldn't otherwise be able to do. But anyway, um, like I said, I hope you all, if you want to get started with the channel, you know, I would suggest that you definitely, you know, think about it and, and, and realize that you can. Like I said, if you really are wanting to get involved with this and and do it for a long period of time, then, of course, you most definitely can get started with um, YouTube for sure and get yourself going with the um, with YouTube. And I wish you well. There's room for everybody because, you know, it's something to do on YouTube for everyone. And I think that even if somebody's doing the same thing you're doing, if you want to get started on it, get started. Don't, you know, think about the naysayers. But like I will tell you, it's work. Although it's fun, make sure it's something you enjoy. Good luck and happy YouTube. And if you decide to get your channel started, and I hope that this is helped by me sharing this.